much as possible, make as many new friends as possible, travel as much as possible, and just, well, enjoy the crown right now. Thank you very much. A lot of uh, Filipina, young Filipina women would like to, to win a national or international crown. What advice can you give them? Not only to Filipinas, but all over the, the world. Uh, uh, every woman in the world who has hired to become a beauty queen like you. What advice can you give them? So this advice is a general advice, and I would say, and it is um, learn from your surroundings. That means pick up what you see, also try to um, think what others would like do in your situation, for example, or what you would do if you were in the situation of another person. So this is how you actually learn, and then that's what I did as well. I went to my first pageant to learn, which is Miss Globe, the title that we also give here, together with Maureen Montaigne, I competed, competed there. And so I really took that to my heart, so I also basically took notes how Maureen was, for example, prepared, and I really adju adjusted myself to that for my next pageant. And um, my current consistency is also key and never giving up. So if it doesn't work out on the first try, maybe try once more. And also don't lose your passion because if you're passionate about something, I think you can really conquer the world. Thanks so much. And that was experience with fun and your most favorite part of the competition as well. So for one, it is of course again making so many new friends because we are still in touch, for example, and coming here, I have actually three, at least three girls that I can actually contact and say hi to, and um, that is just something that is an incomparable feeling, because it gives you like the feeling that you feel home wherever you go, at least it is like that for me. And, well, I think for Japan, or Miss International in particular, it is all the cultural activities that we did, and I'm really grateful if the country that I visit introduces me to their culture. So I'm also really happy to wear Filipina, Filipina, Filipina Naterno right now. Thank you, Philippines, once again. Um, just means Miss International is actually one of the most distinct pageants right now, up to date. So um, we need the Miss International uh, crown. Do you think, uh, how could the um, advocacy help a candidate or, uh, or the aspirant? So one of our advocacies is cheer all women. And that really led me to believe that when women support one another, but also when humankind supports one another, and tries to erase toxicity, then we can really also be empowered as women. And um, I mean, I've seen feuds between women in my entire lifetime, and many of us have seen dramas between women. Like, like they say that usually the perception of beauty pageant is um, that there's a lot of fights between them and everything like that. But for me, in each beauty pageant I competed in, or each beauty pageant I was a delegate in, I really, there was not really much drama at all, which made me really happy to see that, and I really want to, with the cheer all women slogan basically, I want to give other women also the, well, how do you say it? I can't think of the English word right now. Um, like, just the support and, yeah. The more women cheer on each other, the less drama there will be lastly as well. That's my take on it. Um, now, as you can have just me, how do you juggle your responsibilities in life, love life, family, and as a Mr. International as well? So I really make sure to take time out sometimes where I basically do digital detox. I just put my phone away and then there is like clear times where I'm like, okay, I have this and that appointment and I really want to give 100% here and there. So sometimes I also, if I go to cultural activities in Germany or in whatever country I visit, I really want to make sure that as these internationals are also basically cultural, cultural ambassadors 
um, I really want to also provide this content for my followers, for example, to also give them insights about different cultures here, or I am encountered. You look like you have a red light for uh, following you everywhere you go. So what? Uh, just a easy question, fun question. Um, how do you maintain your beauty, um, knowing that you travel a lot? And at the same time, can you, can you give, you know, um, a slide with, with tips on how to have a um, glowing skin every day? So I think one of the um, key ingredients to look happy is good food. So I make sure to eat a lot big and sleep a lot, of course, because if I don't do that, I become sick immediately. So I really also like need to make sure that I eat enough and sleep enough. So that is one of the main, um, well, secrets to me maintaining my glow. But I also try to um, look at things as positively as possible usually. So I have the, the glass is half full mindset and not that it's half empty. And um, I think that also kind of helps me to maintain it and to show it to the outer world. And also I, I feel energized when I see people like you. And then it like, gives me so much happiness to actually see that there's people interested in me. <laughs> if, if to put it that way, because I still consider myself a normal human who was just given the opportunity to be a Miss International and also to carry that title with great pride. And um, yeah, that is one of the main ingredients of my glowing secret. But it's also, of course, makeup and, and good light. <laughs> and so, sometimes adjusting the, the brightness in the pictures. <laughs> You also mentioned that, yeah. So I had it there in all silence because of course to, to maintain a happy lifestyle you also need moments for yourself. So I appreciated that actually. Thank you, Jasmine. Hello. 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 Uh, we heard you speaking in Tagalog, <laughs> in Tagalog words, and we were amazed. Uh, may we know um, who did you learn this Tagalog words? So, as I said, my trainers in Berlin, they are Filipino, and so I have been listening to them speak Tagalog around me for like two and a half years now, <laughs> ever since 2020 November. And <laughs> that's how I picked it up, for example, the one, one of the most Spoken sentences, I heard it was way plan. <laughs> so, I don't know why they use it too now. Great plan. Well, any other funny Tagalog words that you learn aside from this? Mm, well, yes. Marites for one. <laughs> Introducing myself to Hannah, like, hi, I'm Marites. Marites. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she was very confused. She said, wait, your name is not Marites. So it took her a minute to understand what I mean. But <laughs> after she found out, she was also laughing, of course. So Asia, of course, is very, very close to my heart because Every time I came to Asia, I mean, I've been to Korea, Japan, and now Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Vietnam, and Philippines. I have always been greeted with so much love and warmth by the people there. And it makes me feel really appreciated as a person. But I also can feel that it's genuine love and genuine kindness that I'm experiencing here, which Europe actually still lacks a bit of, to be honest. So coming to the Asia really makes me always feel appreciated and I want to give the same love back to the people here. So it also gives me a lot of energy and hope for the future. Oh, when you want your crown. And um, right after you were crowned, you were thrust directly in front of the media to answer their questions. And you I was so tired. Yeah, you were so tired. You could see it in the pictures. At what point? Did your feeling sink in that you have already won? Actually, it was months after. Like, I mean, of course, you realize, okay, I, I won the title now. But it was really when I started doing my first um, media visits. So that it became, it began to sink in that I miss international now. 
Just one more question. Uh, you mentioned that you have Filipino trainers. But are there Filipino beauty queens that you look, uh, you look up to, you idolize? Of course, Maureen Montaigne and also Catriona Gray, who I'm going to soon see soon. And that really makes me really excited. So when I saw that she will be the host for Bini Bini Filipinas, I was like, oh my god, I'm meeting my idol on top of getting to check off that I finally can watch Bini Bini Filipinas live. So I really hope that I get to take a picture with her, of course, and have some little bonding time as well. Because her, you're never denied, but only redirected sentence she said really inspired me back then.